What's up, everyone, and welcome back. This is episode three of the Road to SSL with Zero Mechanic series, the series where I show you how I'd rank up from the perspective of a top 0.1% almost SSL Rocket League coach. Don't look at the background. Ignore everything. <laughs> I'm actually mid-move while I'm recording this video. Today, we've got an exciting video, a little bit controversial. I'm climbing through the diamond rank. Some people were saying I was using too many mechanics. Some people were saying I wasn't using enough mechanics, and uh, at the end of this video will also be getting placed. But yeah, before we get into the content, if you're new here, what's up? My name's Luke. I'm a top 1% Rocket League coach, and I make YouTube videos as well as run a coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. It's a coaching program I run where we help take plat through champ rank players, get to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less, or we work for free until we do. We're literally the only coaching program that guarantees to get you to Grand Champ, or we will keep coaching you for more and more weeks if you don't. We've got over 1,300 players in the program now. So if that sounds like you and you want to grab that GC or SSL title, DM me on Discord with the keyword GC and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy this video, guys. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're in episode three. It's time to enter platinum, platinum games. Currently, the MMR is 930 in twos. All right, we're playing a couple 800 MMR players. We got Wavy Alex and somebody else on the opposing team, Iron Stringer. Okay, he's going for kickoff. Is he... Did he just speed flip? That was a little sus. Okay. Ball's up here. I'm just going to let him drive here. I'll just force him to my corner. I'm just watching the center of the field, grabbing my small pads back here, and guarding net. Ball's going to come to the right. I should very much be first to this ball. If he wants to center me, that's fine. My teammate goes, so I'm just going to flip back. Probably shouldn't speed flip there. You can just front flip. Um, but I do panic a little bit because I do see my, see my teammate go there, so I'm just going to wait back. Drive a little bit up when I think a shot might come, but otherwise... I'm just going to drive up field and collect pads. I can get one touch off the wall here. I should have a pretty easy follow-up. I miss it, of course, but I'm just going to flip and get in the way and then rotate wide. Wait back. Let the play develop. Let him beat someone. Ball's going to come here. I can probably just get one touch by him, and he, the second guy, gives me a free nut. That'll work. All right. I'll, I'll go for this one. He can't. He can't accidentally go. Is nobody going for this kickoff? Nobody's going. Try to get around the ball and cut it when I see nobody going. And here I'm just going to be a nuisance. Hit the ball up. And I hear my teammate jump, so I'm going to go back. I want to stay on that ball and grab half boost, but my teammate's too far up. He's going to save it. <laughs> uh, half flip. He looks like he's going to miss, but I'll, I'll respect it. There's two of them up, so I can wait. Notice how I'm going to hit this ball off the wall. Back to myself. There's no real shot here, so I just wait, and I'll just let him use all of his boost. Great, they hit it over. Rotate really far around. Wide, wide, wide. And now I'm in net. My teammate hits it up. So my teammate is kind of just centering there for them. Like, you can clear that and jump up and read it, but I'm going to assume you can't read that. It is what it is. I'll cheat up. Here, the ball's going to go to the side. I could beat him, but it's probably better for me to just go to the corner, get boosts. And here, I'm just watching shot. Just blocking the angles, making sure we're all safe. Once I realize that I have time, I'll rotate around, get to net. Now I have time to pick up boosts and push up. Looks like he might stop the ball here. He's going to rotate around. I might be able to pick up a free demo on this guy because I see him kind of lurking. And now I'll be able to go back. I'm going to leave half boost for my teammate. Then I can take corner boost for myself. And the key here is just I'm going to catch it. And just stay close. Like he wants to bang it into the wall, that doesn't do anything. It just gives me it just gives me an open. Like I'll wait in the back corner. Sometimes on the corner kickoffs I do half flip back. So that's the one time I kind of break my own roll. Hold power slide to land, let my teammate go, and I'll just wait back post. Here the ball comes super high. I don't think there's any way he scores this. Sweet. Okay. Now we can push up. I'm going to try not to use too much boost. It looks like he's trying to demo me, so I'll just play center. We'll go for this. It looks like, once again, he's not going, so I'll hit it to the side once, and then to the left. A little bounce dribble. Bang, bang. The scrub killer classic. 
Um, my teammate showed that he doesn't know that left goes. He has a speed. My teammate's speed flipping. That's mad. Okay, so once again, we're just going to wait back, and they will probably push the ball into my corner. So I can just go back post and then wait for it to come center and flip into it. And then we get a free goal. We dominate game one, 5 1. Let's go. On to game two. I'll cheat up. Okay, people are starting to speed flip in this rank. People are starting to speed. I should. I'm gonna. I'm gonna speed flip just to hang with them, so I can use the same mechanics. I'm not gonna try to just dominate the kickoff. I'm just gonna get there in time, so that way we don't, you know, get completely scored out of here. I'm gonna stay in net for just a little longer because I don't, I don't fully trust my teammate. I can use small pads to keep up, and we'll be fine. Get a little flick forward, and my teammate should have wide open. Nice. <laughs> All right, he's gone. I'll wait center, let them just bop it into the corner, and let my teammate take it for free. Maybe as a free goal. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> let's eat up. We're going to get one touch here, and then we're just going to try to drive it here, and then shoot. He just goes for boost over ball, I think. Sorry if it's lagging right now, guys. I think it should come back. It must just be internet. Turn down the quality if it's lagging. Oh my gosh. The speed flip destroyer. I'll cheat up on this one. Oh, it's going to go wide there. He's got no angle, so I'll just grab boost, and we should be fine. This side. Just focus on grabbing boost. Here, I'm going to get one jump to hit the ball forward. Now I can go for a shot. I'm going to use both my jumps to kind of elevate the ball there. He's out of the play. He's out of the play. Wait for a potential center. He's going to hit it to the side. Half flip to recover. And cover the net. Should be totally fine. Just stay impatient on the, on the goal line. My teammate's still up, so I need to go back. Grab corner boost. And just watch that. That's what I get. I hope they score on me here. They should have scored on me there for, for doing that. <laughs> here ball goes high. I'm just going to rotate really wide around and just stay all the way in the back of the net. Oh, he actually gets a good air roll shot. So that's where aerial shots come in. You can get like you can get these angles. You can be out of position and still get power. That's why aerial shots are good. That's crazy. Yeah, I gotta start speed flipping so these guys don't get free what freebies. Once again, just wait back post. This guy showed that he can aerial shot, so I'll wait. Get a flip up, and he's pushed up too far, so he can't score. It's not even a good clear. I kind of mess up, but it'll be fine because he. They push up too far at this rank. Here, once again, I'm just going to wait back and just let him go. Just making sure I stay close. Just timing the up bounce. Timing the up bounce is the big thing here. Push up. Make it clear to my teammate I'm going back and let him go. Here I can turn up because he makes too heavy of a first touch. I'm watching this guy here. Just get a good jump. 50-50. And make sure that I'm always I'm always back. He gets a big boom. This might be hard to read, so I'm just going to let it bounce once or twice. And then go. Simple shot. Probably not going to save it at this rank. Like, people just don't have good enough reads. So you can, you can really take your time and just get a nice angle at this rank. Going to flip forward. Might be able to get a free bump on that guy. Just because I was driving through the kickoff. Now I'll wait back. Looks like he might go, so I'm going to turn like I'm going to go, and then just turn back. I can go all the way around, because he hit it into my corner. Make sure I just cover the net. Get a hit to the right. He shouldn't be able to stop me. If he does, I'm back. Simple save. He looks like he's going to shoot, so I'm just going to turn back immediately to make it a good save. And I'll just wait back. My teammate looks awkward here. I could bang against the wall, beat him. Go for, go for a shot. I should be quicker to take his boost here. That's all right. Go back corner. 
Wait all the way. I should be very first to this ball. Hit it. Jump off the wall. If I'm faster, I can score there, but if not, that's fine. Just not over committing. And I'll play way back in that. Because I'm so far back, the save. Okay, never mind. So this is where mechanics can get you far, but only so far. Looks like you're just going to center it to me. And we get a free goal. Poor pineapple dude in 0-2. How you flaming pineapple dude 2 <laughs> Poor guy. I want to go here, but it looks like he might still have it. So I'm just going to wait back. Still watching shot. Oh, he's got nothing. Kind of climbing the wall here. I should probably just go back entirely, but play a little far up. Oh! It's time. I can't break this. We're on recording. If I break this, I'm going to go viral. I'm going to get canceled. So I got to stay in this. I apologize, chat. Now's your chance. Chat, say hi, YouTube. And that's game. Wrap up game two, five, four. On to game three and the final game. Yo guys, Luke from the future here. And at the time I'm recording this, I'm actually working on some custom rank up videos that I'm gonna be dropping in my free Discord server for every rank based on this Road to SSL series. So I wanted to let you guys know if you're not currently members of the Discord, it's completely free to join by the way, and you can leave whenever you want. I've already been posting some like free training pack lists, but I'm gonna be making custom rank up guides that will probably be going live around when this video goes live. So yeah, if you haven't joined and you want free stuff definitely join up because it's a community it's it's free to join anyways just want to let you know about it link to join the discord down below otherwise enjoy the rest of the video all right let's get it or we got og slick he's 973 okay these guys are all 1000 so these are all diamond players these guys are all diamond players let's go cheat up ball's gonna go into the corner so i'm gonna flip go wide and just take it nice and slow use my camera to see where they're coming from and this will bounce center so i can hit it up on the high bounce and then maybe go for a basic air dribble. Can a diamond do that? I think so. Hit it up the wall. I could go for another air dribble. If I if I know how to neutral jump there, you can do... Don't let that go in. Don't let that go in. That's cheating. If you know how to neutral jump there, you can get a setup from that angle. But if you don't, then you can't. It's cheating. So I'll just wait back. Here, it looks like he's going to boom it. So I'm just going to go back. Ball gets hit to the corner. This bounce is kind of hard, so I'll just wait. I'll just go around a couple times. And once I see him going, I would love to take a 50-50 right in my corner. That's ideal. Unfortunately, missed the touch there, but that's all right. My teammate's going to center it a little bit, but as long as I don't panic and I just hit it high, they double whiff. We get a basically an open net. I want to pass to my teammate there. I probably, I probably could have just scored if I would have gone for it. I'll, I'll go back to the corner. Watch net. That is a little bit of a hard save. But if you go off the backboard, you should be able to do it. it looks like he might hit this high. My teammate should have it. He's sounds like he's going. This guy looks awkward. Ricky here. So it turns out he was. So we're just going to let him go and, and whiff. I'll take this one. See, this guy's still doing a drive kickoff. Funny. Diamond's a funny place. Some people do the drive kickoffs, and some people are, like, speed flipping. <laughs> really depends. This guy's going to miss, so I'm just going to come center and wait, because after he misses, the, the guy's going to want to follow up. So. My teammate is up to the left, so I'm going to wait back here. Now, here, I really don't want to be facing the ball while I contest him. I want to be driving back with this guy. So notice how I kind of power slide to turn my car around. And here, like, honestly, I'm fine with taking this ball over to the right side. So I'm just going to get a 50-50, take it over to the right side. I'm going to get a simple shot on that. It's not a great shot, but see, I can stay up in the play. Guys, yeah, so notice how I'm going to go wide around, and then that allows me to save it to the side rather than staying under it and panicking. Looks like he's going to hit the ball back to his corner here. He's not. I want to hit it off the wall and then get a... Oh, I thought he was going to save that. 
Okay. This guy said he's on my left. We can try to do a left kickoff. That's not a left kickoff. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to use a wave dash to get back in time. So that way I'm back post. I'm ready here. I could take the boost lane out. Ball's going to come center. And honestly, I'm just going to wait. My teammate looks like he wants to go. Should he go? Absolutely not. These guys aren't contesting me, so. You know, it is what it is, but get a, get a, get a flick, I guess. If he would have just, my teammate would have let me go initially, it would have been fine, but you know, it is what it is. They look like they're going to go. There's a lot of madness here, so I'm just going to go back, get boost, chill out, come back in when, when the, when the rain clears and when it's a hundred percent safe. Okay. He's just driving. I'm just going to take his boost, get out. Oh, my teammate's still really far back. So I'm going to hit it up here. I really don't want to. I really don't want to hit it too hard to my teammate because I want to make sure I'm back in time, you know? Don't want to leave your teammate alone. Here, I can hit it up. Now, mo a lot of people just boom that ball, but there's no reason to boom it. They I saw two back. Nobody's pressuring me, so I don't want to boom. My teammate kind of centers this here, so I don't want to jump up get in the way. I'm going to look where he is. Turn back once I see him going. Act like I'm going. Turn back once I see him going. i just get a catch. He shouldn't have an angle. Once I see that it's a little messy, I go all the way back around, get to the back of the net. We're fine. He misses his catch. I can make him scared here. Ball's going to come to the center. He looks like he's going to jump, so I'll just wait back. Let him hit it to me. Power slide around. Hit one up. Act like I'm going to go. And a little pop will do it. Is this like, am I like doing too, too good mechanics for this rank? I don't know. Okay, whatever. Should be cheating up, but I went for back corner boost. It's my bad. So here it looks like he's going to boom the ball. So I'll just let him get a heavy touch. And then, you know, if he wants to hit it in my corner, great. I'm just going to conserve boost and I'm back post always. Let my teammate go. Make it very obvious to him that I want him to go. Soft touch to the right. And now I'm on this back post. Ready to go. Ball does get hit up field. So I'll track all these boosts. Move, move, move. Here I want to grab his boost and then play. My teammate's still back, so I'm just going to keep tracking all the boosts. Once he does put it to the center, I kind of want to move more central to shut him down and force him back into my corner. Give the ball to my teammate. Easy save. Now we'll wait back. It's not 100% safe, so I'm just going to wait back. Let the ball come. Grab this boost here. Keep letting him whiff. And now I'm going to get one up bounce. High bounce. Nobody's contesting me. So I can just land and then take another shot. Wait, I might be able to score this. Let's go. Oh, almost. <laughs> uh. And with that, if you go 10 0 and you dominate your placements, you get placed diamond three div three. Diamond three div three. So we already shot up to Diamond 3 Div 3 in the third episode. That's crazy. That's crazy. So basically, we'll be going through Diamond 3 and trying to take on champs next. Yo, guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see more content like this before it goes live, I'm actually dropping like clips, the best moments from these streams over on my Instagram before I post this stuff on YouTube. It's just one word. It's Spook Luke Graham. I'll have it linked down below. So if you haven't followed yet, definitely go follow there after this video to be the first to see the latest stuff. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought, whether I was using too many mechanics or not, and what you want to see in the future episodes down in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.